Hello Dave, can I explain any marketing concepts? Professor Siegfried, can you give a practical example of the application of Porter's Five Forces? Well Dave, the main purpose of Porter's Five Forces is to find a position in an industry where a company can defend itself against competitive forces or it can influence them in its favor. A strategist can analyze any market by rating, each competitive force is high, medium or low in strength. If we look at the pharmaceutical industry worldwide, the five forces could be rated as follows. Competition among existing rivalry is high as key players Pfizer, GlaxoSmithKline, Bayer and Eli Lilly compete closely and strongly in the market. The threat of new entrants is seen as low since high entry barriers due to costs associated with research, development of new drugs and government regulatory barriers make it difficult for new entrants. The threat of substitutes could also be seen as medium as generic drug companies do not have the high costs associated with the research and development of new drugs. And this allows them to sell at cheaper price points. The bargaining power of buyers could be rated as medium because hospitals Healthcare organizations can exert pressure on pharmaceutical companies to keep prices in check. Generic drugs give patients slower price options. The bargaining power of suppliers is low as sales for the pharmaceutical industry concentrate is controlled by the large players and that has decreased the bargaining power of suppliers. Overall, based on the above analysis of Porter's five forces, we can conclude that the pharmaceutical industry is not attractive for new entrants. Thanks Professor, for this example of Porter's five forces.